Hi, my name is Chris Blakeman and I want to talk to you about embroidery business planning. If you're looking at this video, you probably saw my ad somewhere um, or you saw the video and you know that I'm helping people with starting embroidery businesses. So I started out um, with my own business. I opened my own business when I was 26 years old. Um, I'd finished, I went back to college to study business um, and to study entrepreneurship. I studied entrepreneurship at Colorado State University as well as human resource management and got my bachelor's degree in business administration. Um, after kind of working in you know normal jobs, I did construction jobs for a while. I did a lot of sales work too. Since I was 15, I've pretty much continually been in some kind of sales, even on the side. Um, and so I've been in sales for a very long time and decided to study business in more of a contemplative academic sense so I could get a better understanding of how to be a business person. Um, I graduated with a minor in economics and studied economics as well uh, while I was working in a machine shop selling embroidery machines. And what I found that um, was selling embroidery machines is that I would help a lot of customers um, with uh, ideas about selling embroidery. And a lot of people that would buy embroidery machines really enjoyed it, loved it, and decided they wanted to take their passion into a, a cottage business or having a business at home. And since then, um, I've opened my own business um, that's a retail business selling embroidery machines um, and helping people with, um, you know, pursuing their passions and enjoying embroidery and creating fun things, but also doing it as a business. Um, I've helped dozens of people, maybe even just like you, that do embroidery for fun and decide to start doing it as a business. And it's a really good time to do something you love as a business. I can tell you from opening my own business, um, you know, and helping my customers and helping them expand uh, what they do and um, enhancing the value um, that they need, uh, that, that they already get from me even too. Um, and so over time, I've had a great time running my own business. It's very liberating. Uh, it's very uh, freeing because you don't have to work for a big company. You get to set your own hours. Um, there's a lot of tax benefits too. There's tons of tax benefits. In many cases, you could start your own embroidery business and you're already embroidering a lot and buying supplies, buying machines, uh, buying parts and attachments and things like that. And you're doing it anyway because you can have fun. Uh, well, what if you could just write all of that off because you had a business? It's as simple as that. Uh, so in a lot of cases, it's a great idea to go ahead and just take your passion and turn it into a business. Uh, and I really feel like that's what I've done with my, my business. I've been very blessed and able to do that. Um, and build a great community of customers around me and employees and staff. And uh, I would love to help you do the same thing. I've already helped some other people do that. Some of, some of my customers that purchase an embroidery machine, um, I have taken them through the process that I went through to start my own business, um, begin selling products to customers, finding customers, marketing themselves, um, you know, using the proper documents, things like that. Um, and it's actually a lot easier than you would think. You can actually take what you're doing, what you love, and turn it into a business today really easily. There's a lot of simple steps. So congrats if you're taking the leap into the new venture, um, or if you already are running an embroidery business, I still would love to help you and talk to you about it. There's a lot of great ideas. I get a lot of great ideas from other business owners. Um, I've developed some of my own, and I really want to share them with you. So when you get started, we'll just start out with some basics real quick. Make sure your name is fun and creative. It's niche. Uh, when you pick the name of your business, pick something that people will remember. If you're doing a local embroidery business, maybe something, um, you know, that's native to your area, like mountaintop embroidery, maybe if you live in the mountains, or oceanside embroidery, if you're by the, the ocean or by a beach or something like that. Um, something like this. You know, you want to tie in something about embroidery, like stitches, embroidery, uh, and be creative and fun about it. Uh, pick your name. Yeah, that's all you need to do to get started is pick your name. You don't want to be paralyzed by analysis. It's called analysis by paralysis. You don't want to take time trying to think of things and uh, analyze things that are taking you away from really pursuing the actual business piece of things and actually being a business person and operating and selling and helping people and providing value, okay? This still requires some thought and you should do a brainstorming session. Just get like a blank piece of paper and write down some different names to make a decision. But for the most part, 
uh, this is a pretty straightforward process. Uh, and what's really great is there's a lot of great uh, ways to go ahead and build your logo if you just want a quick basic logo to get started. Remember, you can always change the name of your business. You can always change your logo. Um, you know, if you decide to really get serious about your branding, um, you can always go in a different direction. Uh, but sometimes your initial, you know, the initial thing you pick sticks. When I opened my first store, uh, when I started my business, uh, I picked a logo. I picked a very simple name, just my last name, um, with, you know, vacuum and sewing. That's what I do. Multi-brand person. I deal in all of them. And I went with it. And it's been great. It's been a great way for me to brand myself. I've used my personal brand to build out a customer base and a book of business. Um, and I've, uh, I started out with a store, just me, no employees, um, had to use credit cards to buy inventory. And since then, we've grown into four locations. Uh, we're a multi-million dollar business and every year, and uh, we have thousands of customers over a five-year period. Uh, so it is very possible, and you don't want to get paralyzed by this. It doesn't need to be complicated. It's very easy to brand yourself and start moving forward. Um, so you want to get started with your EIN number. So you want to pick out, um, you want to go to the website, and uh, after you pick out your, your name, that is, and your um, branding, Go to the federal uh, website, the IRS, and you're going to start your EIN number. And it's really easy because the bottom line is the government wants your taxes. So they make it easy for you. Uh, some people think this might be some sort of big hurdle to cross or something. And you can actually do it in less than five minutes. You can just get, get, go get your EIN number. It'll automatically be generated for you in many cases. Um, so go to the federal website, go to the IRS website, um, and then get your EIN number. Once you do that, register your name with the state. Um, this establishes your trade name. Just go to Google and type in the state you're in and registering a trade name. It, the websites are different for the state you're in, but you'll be able to go and do that there. Um, sometimes the Department of Revenue in your state handles this. Um, and you need your state sales tax license. So all you have to do is go to your local state website. Some websites you can apply online. Some of them you go in in person. But at the end of the day, to get your resale license, usually you have to pick up the phone and call their office and they're super helpful for the most part. I can't guarantee that, but my experiences in two different states where I run my business in Colorado and Wyoming has been that everyone has been very helpful to me and the process actually goes very fast. Um, so definitely get your resale license. You're going to need it to buy wholesale goods that you can resell for a profit margin. Uh, you're going to need it to prove you're in business in some cases with certain vendors. Um, you know, it's, it's just something that you need and, uh, it doesn't take that long once you have the EIN number. Uh, I, when I went through the process of setting up my licensing, it was about a two day long process. It actually didn't really take that much effort. Order your business cards if you're going to have a local business. So if you're doing business in a local area, uh, you're going to do some networking, you do some marketing, um, and meet some people and things. And you need to hand out your business card where you go. And you need to include it with samples that you might be providing people as well as part of your marketing. Uh, so it's just a good idea to go to vistaprint.com or one of those sites that will give you even some free cards in some cases. And you can put together a business card with some basic contact information. Make sure you do your phone number, your email address, the name of your company, and what you do on it. Uh, just make it simple. And then if you get your um, your logo, if you have something that's kind of just a basic logo or even just a graphic that kind of shows what you do, um, like like a you know an embroidered flower or something like that, you can put something on there that sh that reminds them of what you do. Okay, so make sure you get some uh, business cards. Now, if you're starting an Etsy site, uh, you might not be as worried about this, and you want to really focus on Etsy, or maybe um, you're going to do Etsy, but you also know that you're going to do some embroidery for some people locally. Uh, maybe you already have some requests. That's not uncommon either. Maybe you already know people who know that you have an embroidery machine. They're asking you to do embroidery for them. You guys need to understand that embroidery is actually kind of a high demand industry. Um, even in really small local areas, there's organizations, businesses, uh, acquaintances, family members. There's a lot of people that need embroidery or could use it and don't know that they need it. And you just need to talk about it with them. So the first way to start is create a list of 20 to 50 friends, family members, and good acquaintances and call them and tell them the great news. You've started a business. 
you know, you're in business, uh, you're embroidering, embellishing things. Do they need shirts? Do they need hats? Do they need bags? You know, uh, what do they need? And if they don't, um, even if they do, they're going to tell you, that's great. You got the order. Ask them if they can think of two or three people or businesses in your area or, or by your, your local area that would need your services. Do they need embroidery? Can they think of any organization or help you write that down so you can contact them? All right. Keep a notepad and make notes about these conversations. Note each person or place that you need to make an appointment with. Um, if they tell you something that's specific to their organization, like, oh, yeah, we we're always thinking about aprons with something. Maybe if you were able to, like, show us something, that's great. You go Now you know you have an appointment. You can show them a catalog. You can do a sample, and you've got a sales call to go on, which is great. Um, this might seem intrusive or tedious uh, to those of you who have not been in business before, uh, but you need to market yourself and you need to tap uh, the people that care about you first and foremost because that's the quickest way to get in a vein of success and build out referral businesses. Just lean on your power base and the people that already care about you because they're going to be happy to hear uh, that you've started a business and you can be positive and excited about this. This is great news and they're going to want to help you. So it's really good. So uh, definitely, you know, you want to build this out, make these calls. And you're going to find out um, who's interested, basically, who needs uh, the product. And then I've got a training for you after this on how to price the product so you can give price quotes and get them an idea of how much you're going to charge. Okay, again, your friends and family care about you. This is my mom and dad. Uh, they really cared about me starting my business. They're very supportive. Uh, you know, they would send their friends and family in. Um, and I've sold uh, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, maybe even more over the last five and a half years um, to my referral base, my friends and family and the friends that they send in because I talk to them about my business. I tell them how things are going. Uh, you know, I, I've asked them if they need things, uh, try to make recommendations. So don't be afraid to lean on the people that love you because helping you is a gift to them. They actually enjoy it. They're really going to enjoy helping you out. Source your blanks and wholesale items. Uh, so we highly recommend Sanmar in our company for our customers that get started. Sanmar is a very high touch customer service company. Um, they're actually going to uh, give you a rep that's going to help you um, make good decisions for your buying as far as getting blank hats, blank shirts, tea towels, uh, bags, you name it. They actually send you a catalog with your company name on it um, with retail prices where you charge the wholesale prices. Um, and they just send that to you. So it's great. They actually help you with a little website. Um, highly, highly recommend Sanmar. Once you've got your resale license, get in touch with them, get set up. Um, you're going to need a reseller for blanks if you're selling embroidery. So that'll get you started with that right away. So guess what? You're in business. Now you just have to make some samples, some fabric um, on some you know scrap fabric, some extra blanks maybe to hone your skills. Um, we train you in the store. At our store, you know, your local dealer, maybe you bought an embroidery machine from a local dealer. Uh, they usually are there to train you on the machine. Um, so make sure you understand your machine inside now. Start making samples. Um, and you're on your way to success. Like, you you really just have to go and visit the people you've already called. Uh, use the pricing model in the next training. It's a, I have a free ebook for you um, that I want to email you. You just have to sign up. It's on pricing embroidery. Okay, it's a full training on how to price the blanks, how to price the embellishment, how to price the digitizing, and make money on embroidery. So you can go out on these sales calls and give proper estimations to get your order and take payment um, and start making money right away. If you already have an embroidery machine, you could start making money in a matter of days. I mean, it's it's really fast. Like you could be making, you could be in business in a matter of several days, no problem. And I just want you to understand because I've seen it happen before. Um, I have customers that do it. And I myself have had a, a phenomenal experience with being in business for myself. It's been a great time. I've been able to meet some extraordinary people. Um, I've been able to travel around the world. Um, I've been able to really um, have a great experience in life so far. And I'm super stoked about what the future holds. I'm super stoked about um, helping others like you. And um, I'd love to help you just like I've helped some other people start their embroidery business and uh, give you some advice. And so with that, um, you can get the free ebook um, on how to price embroidery. Um, just go ahead and click in the box um, to, to get the email. I'm going to email you a free 
um, book. It's normally a hundred dollar value. It's an ebook on how to price embroidery in a step by step fashion. Um, and even how to use like a form, like an estimation form. Uh, so you can start taking orders or reaching out to people and calling people. Um, I would recommend that you just try it to get used to it and get in the habit of it. Cause as a business person, you're going to have to do it. Um, but, uh, you may also consider starting an Etsy account and beginning to generate uh, samples and list things and put things up on Etsy to start finding your niche and finding out what you could create to sell on Etsy because this is another at-home venue that works out really well uh, for starting your own business and I've had um, some customers with great success on Etsy as at-home embroiderers it's actually really easy to set up an Etsy account um, and go ahead and move forward with listing things and testing to see what works and what doesn't work uh, for sales I can tell you that the process with Etsy might be a little bit longer, but because you can work on it at home, it's not as, uh, you know, it's, it's not as arduous as far as getting in front of people. However, I will say that getting in front of people making phone calls and taking orders is a great way to start getting income right away. And you really should just try picking up the phone after you make your list of 20 to 30 people um, and then asking for referrals from those people in your power base so that you can generate a new list of 20 to 30 people, maybe even more that you can call to go out and talk to about doing your free estimations. Um, so definitely download the ebook um, so you know how to price embroidery so you can go out and uh, give proper estimations to take profitable orders um, by, again, just fill out your email. Um, in the uh in the blank space so that i can send you the free ebook it's a hundred dollar value i'm just going to send it to you for free um, i've given it to other customers that have purchased machines from me uh, and helped them with their business and they love it they say it's very good it has templates to use it has the recommended prices market prices um, how to price things sequentially in the right way so i'd love to help you out go ahead and just pop your email in there and i'll send you the book over and we'll have some fun selling some, creating some embroidery, selling some embroidery, uh, meeting new people.